So we're just gonna just some recent stats for the new the, for the canned food drive. Today is day five. These are the this is the data for up to day four. So we're trying to predict kind of what's gonna happen uh, at the end of the food drive, and also maybe even possibly uh, what's gonna happen there today. Okay, so just we're about five minutes away from the collection time, and uh, we've been looking at the data. Here's the uh, data for. Uh, for the last few days, okay? And you can see these are the dots right here. Um, and what kind of model are we doing here there, Mr. Wade? So here we go, we've, we've, uh, we've tried to transpose a, a linear function here. So we've looked at this, we've done a regression, uh, we've calculated the function here, and extrapolating on from day four, we're gonna predict a total of just over 16,000 cans. This little funny little box right here, this is called residuals, basically it tells us how far that data point is from the fit, Okay, and, and it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. But basically, this one is about 400 cans away from what we predicted it would be based on a linear model. And then we've got a couple small ones here and then another one really large. Okay, we're going to the next one. Okay, so this one, same deal, same uh, data, and uh, we're doing a different fit. What's the fit there, Mr. Wright? Okay, this time we've looked at a quadratic model to try and explain this. Oh, as we can see, our data fits very well. The points are very close to the line. And again, if we extrapolate on following this function for day seven, we're going to predict a total of 23,000 cans. Okay, and then again, the residuals right here. This one's neat, and we'll take a look at them all together. But basically, the scale here is a lot different. The other one was about 400, 500. This one's only 20, so we're only 20, 20 away early. We're only 40 away near the end. And then, uh, and then it's just pretty random, okay? And so, and also our, our squared value grades, okay? Next one. Okay, last one we're looking at, uh, same uh, data, a little different scale, just so you can see the rest of it in the prediction, uh, but we're using a different model there, Mr. Wade. Now the third model we're using here is an exponential model. Uh, this time is where it starts off, it grows quite slowly, and then it starts to accelerate very quickly the further we go on. Again, extrapolating here using this model, we're getting a total of 85,000 counts. I don't think that's gonna happen. That's way too much. We are looking for something closer than that, definitely closer than uh, the the 23,000, that's within our range. We've done that before. A little too high, I think, I think. Also, you can see a little difference in the residuals, not really the right pattern. You should be looking at something random here, okay? And another little thing that you'll notice, fits really well to the exponential early on, but this one's off, this one's a lot lower. And we, usually what we see with the exponentials is it's gonna start tailing off, and that's what we see in uh, the last few day, uh, last year. This was last year's data, okay? And so it was kind of going up pretty rapidly. This is a little different scale. But there's a tail off here at the end. Same thing with uh, the year after, did I get the right one? Yep. Year after, kind of go big growth and then kind of tails off, even though it's very high, okay? <laughs> Want to just take one quick look at the residuals? Okay, this, these are all on the same scale. Look at this one, right on, okay? Whereas these guys, quite a bit off, and the scale is huge, okay? Like, the one big residual will be about uh, a hundred, a thousand, okay? So, last little thing, what do we want to do? So, we've looked there, we think our quadratic model is going to be a bit too low, our exponential model is going to be a bit too high. So, if we take a very basic uh, average of those two functions, we end up with what we have here. And uh, what, what's the prediction? If we go at seven here, now it doesn't, it doesn't work quite the same. We could actually use this, uh, this point and go right around seven. What are we going to see here? Oh, it actually tells us pretty close to seven. Oops. The 54,000 would be our predictions. Yeah. What do you think? 54,000? Above or below? I think maybe a little bit below, but not too far below. What do you think there, Mr. Murphy? 54,000, a little bit below or a little bit above? Oh, maybe a little bit below. A little bit below, Mrs. Bolger? Oh, I'm thinking about 53,997. Oh, okay, all right. I think we're gonna be, I don't think we're, we could. We have made 50,000 before. Might be just a little bit shy, but uh, I'm hopeful that it'll be actually a little bit above. Is that it? Is that all we have to say? Okay, awesome.